here. Hi, we're Wait. here for Chris. Here is your Rorschach made in your name and essence. If you want to take a screenshot so you can scry in your own time and terms, Chris, thank you for being my muse and I am honored to empathically explore Down. your individual ink blot and share my insights. I also have the spirit box going on here. I don't know if this is annoying or not, but nonetheless, I'm going to keep it in as a trial, uh, but by all means. We're here for Chris. Uh, whew, a lot of earth, earth energy. Uh, I don't know if you're like a hiker or you work in a greenhouse or there's just lots of greenery around you where you live. I feel like you're tough as nails, tough as nails. And I'm also seeing like a, a punching thing. Maybe you, you fight or train in some sort of, uh, I'm going to say self-defense, but I'm sure it's an art form. Or maybe it's like lifting weights. Maybe I'm I'm misunderstood. It's not my forte. <laughs> um, just tough. Feel like you carry uh, mysticism, and there's something mystical about you, and Chris. So I'm not I'm not sure if that resonates. I don't know if you have like a, a magic side to you, or uh, when you're lift. I don't know. There's something about the physical and the spiritual blatantly coming through. And I'm in this middle space here. I don't know if the coloring comes through, but see how it's like, it's very mystical. And I got boundaries like a, like, like a shoe, hands and feet, hands and feet, hands and feet. Like, you know, if somebody was having their boundaries, like stop right there. I feel like a kick goes out and it's a foot. I met with the bottom of a foot versus a hand. Watching you. I'm seeing a pigeon on a rock, oddly enough, looking down on something. I'm right in here. I think it's a pigeon. I think it's a pigeon. Could be a, a dove. And not like a... Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Like a dove. Like a dove. Not a white dove. Just, just a dove. I almost want to say like a common bird. But there's one that kind of keeps, keeps an eye on you or visits you. I'm also seeing somebody... Whittle. Is that what that thing is called with wood and you whittle? I don't know if this is just in, in, indicative of perhaps you are a woodworker and that's all this earth energy. kind of being asked to go into more of like a shamanic land again very very earthly Chris very very earthly and it's almost as if this dove or pigeon picks up what you leave okay so if I'm whittling maybe I don't know vegetables wood it's something earthly that i'm whittling and this pigeon or dove is picking up my scraps and taking them i don't know if he's eating them or but he yeah does leave and takes them somewhere statue related mm. i'm trying to figure Brandon. out what these things are not Sometimes I get distracted by it. So I'm just going to try and stay and allow it to be. I don't know if this is a three prong plug. Um, I feel like you're plugged in. You're plugged into the earth in some way, shape or form. This feels like, again, that shamanic thing or something in that landscape that. Hmm. 
I don't know, maybe if you, uh, maybe it's blocked off or you're going deeper, training to go deeper, something along that lines, Chris. I apologize. It's, um, I'm meeting the hand and the foot. <laughs> so there's only so much space, even though like from an observer, I can see that it goes all the way down. But when I wander here, and I start to go in, I am met with this bottom of this foot or this hand or lifting weights, like this very protruding strength coming at me. It's not bad. It just feels like a badass boundary is what it feels like, a badass boundary. I'm going to move down here, Chris. Let's see what else is going on. Thank you for holding space for me to share my insights. As curious and cryptic as they are, hopefully you find a message with meaning and symbolic support. Seeing an odd symbol. Invisible. That has. Doom. That has some sort of smoke in it. I think I might be in a past life here. Knight of Wands, Lord of Flame and Lightning. Ten of Wands, Lord of Oppression. Oh. Okay, so there's perhaps in this mysticism I'm sensing in the shamanic like met with the foot and the, and the hand. This might be where um, Prime. five of swords and ten of wands. This is where some oppressive, depressive feelings are. Thank you. I just need a little bit more space. And that's why I met with this badass boundary. Okay. Compassion. I can feel that. Um Knight of Wands, I, I want to say, but this is where a lot of power is harboring flame and lightning. And it's almost like when it dispels, and maybe when you're working out or training or whittling, some, something like that. It's Late. released, but is it? That's what I want to say, but is it? Hmm. One moment. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Okay, get my blanket. There's a lot of power there. Power, power there. Make a noise. Chris. I'm going to move down a little bit. I'm still in this uh, arrowhead feeling, and there's some white invisibility in there. Uh, with spirit, but see how it's like a, a shape? Who is she? And it, it, that's what's drawing me up. So interestingly enough, when I said I couldn't really access it there, and I was met by the foot. That's cool. That's cool. And then when I came down here to this arrowhead, it almost like invited me to come up from a different perspective, from a different place. Maybe something that felt less invasive. But there's still a boundary there. It's just different. Uh, it's like I feel like I'm moving boulders, so it's accessible like a secret. Um... Secret door or chamber, you know, I can access it one way or the other. But I also feel like this arrowhead is on water. Oh, and I'm seeing again that uh, eight of engines has come through. There's that invisibility, like it could be in the mine, like you have like a little like a trap door or something so that you can access it when you need to, when you need, when you need this power for something. But I kind of want to say like, there's, it's some, there's something else. I don't know what it is though, but it's very hidden. So I'm going to respect that. And I feel like that's knowing. So when I'm back at this arrowhead from the, from this new moment, this new time, I'm seeing uh, barbells. I, no, the weight thingy again, but from a different perspective. And it's almost like if I was like one of those really heavy duty weightlifters. Now this is of course symbolic uh, if you're not resonating with actually lifting weights, but I can see myself lifting like a deadlift, a deadlift. And as I'm trying to lift it, there's spirit underneath 
lifting it up as I'm pulling up. Does that make sense? Okay. Beverly, I need to go. I'm also seeing something being broken in half. Mm, okay, something broken in half, like over the knee. Roy. You've had two names come through, Beverly and Roy. I don't know if they mean anything to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on gazing to gain here. Okay, so I feel like you might have broken over the knee, some sort of uh, karmic cycle, a family trait, or like a lot of work has uh, deep work halt. to bring it to to bring it to a halt. Uh, and that was like breaking it over the knee. And again, I'm seeing these strong arms, but this time when I'm seeing different strong arms, like big biceps, I really don't know if you work out or I'm seeing your spiritual strength angry so bear with me here but as i'm seeing like these biceps come out and these hands go up it's like then almost they do like puppet uh shadow puppet things hmm and then i'm wandering down even farther and i'm seeing this all is like a viking ship and i don't know if this is your past life or it could be part of your culture or lineage what? Um, Lord of the forces of life, the wheel of fortune and the moon, uh, lux and reflux. So some sort of a uh, cycle was broken, busted, done. Uh, and it's kind of like you had the spiritual strength to move through that. And with the moon, I'm being asked to be brought back up into your ink blot, into that mysticism that I can't see through to here whether it's shamanism or or pagan something along like it's just it's old i i'm sorry I, i'm limited in my linearity of particular words but it, it's interesting because it looks like water and like here's the ship goodbye goodbye love and but it's Lady. green but it's green, but it looks like water. And there's some, again, with that pigeon or, or dove, some sort of bird that was the emblem of this boat. Again, I'm by, being brought back to the whittling and it's like the carving of the front of the boat. Maybe you carved. Who is that? I'm seeing the show Viking. There's a character that builds boats. I can't remember his name, but that's what I'm seeing. Okay. I flipped it to win it. Let's see what happens from this perspective and what shapes or symbols come through for Chris. seeing a dog or some sort of oh I see I originally saw like a jaguar or something like that some sort of a cat lion but a female lion with a little butterfly or something on on his or her nose so it switched really really quickly so I don't know Chris if there is a feminine energy around you that is fierce <clears throat> like a jaguar maybe it's a car I don't know but and they have a butterfly in the nose, like they look fierce, they, they're tough, but but they're so sweet and loyal, um, like, like a dog. And I don't mean that in an insulting way, I mean that in this symbolic spirit of, of a dog. Hopefully that wasn't insulting, but if you know, hopefully you know what I'm saying. This this energy is so sweet. It could be like a pit bull. It could be like a pit bull. Like they're just a fe whether they're feline or just I don't know. 
if if they're a dog or a cat, a jaguar or a pit bull, but it's almost like it, it's misunderstood, but the loyalty is so there because really they're so sweet with this butterfly on the, on the nose and they bring me up to this hill. And I think you might have been together okay. in a past life and you're buried under a hill or maybe Frustrated. and maybe in this place in time you've uh, made nuptials. The lamp oh. remembrance. I immediately heard reincarnation. Lee. Very protective over this partner or aspect. The eternal cycle begins here. This feels like the reincarnation thing. So if you are with somebody, uh, it does feel like yes. your soulmates. And you've reincarnated. Yeah, it's often authenticized. Very, very protective over each other. Maybe that's why it keeps switching dog to cat. Because it's like both of you uh, holographically changing. And it's very endearing. I'm also seeing a, a scoop of some sorts, a scoop, I don't know, a scoop. Sorry if I'm not looking up, I get very invested in the ink. <laughs> I'm very invested, but I'm going to keep going here so I don't take up too, too much of your time. Something about legs. It's like I'm seeing um, Santa come down the chimney, but these aren't like that kind of legs. This is legs on um, a platform or no. a board game. Thank you. So I'm on a board game and all I can see is like the legs and the feet stepping onto the board game. And it's like the next roll of the dice, the next reincarnation type thing. And there's an arrow, like you know you're going to go this way. Like I'm playing the game of life from a different perspective because it's a, a, a remembering what, what we've already been through and what we're going to reincarnate How do you into. Feel? So there's kind of like this random roll of the dice, but if I may, it's led by spirit First, because it's two. like here's the legs and there's two um pillars with spirit energy and as it steps on this platform it's like we're gonna go this way but we don't really know i think you've like reincarnated many 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 times i want to yawn excuse me it's not you. <laughs> it's me. <sighs> okay. Thank you. There is a rest state. There is a rest state. You guys didn't reincarnate immediately. And if you're, uh, whether this could be a partner that you absolutely have and you know, or the aspects within oneself. I'm getting really tired and sleepy. So when I said it's not you, it's me. It's me the way I'm feeling it. When I stepped forward to the unknown. And I'm I'm going to say back to that place from the other perspective. Hidden. Dangerous. But... It's different here from this perspective. I don't want to hold on to that unless it makes me step forward. But I need to rest. Um, I need to rest here for a little bit. What are these creatures I'm seeing? I really cannot discern... 
what they're doing. I feel like something has happened at some point in your life, life, sir. Excuse me. I need to rest. I'm tired. I need to digest what I've seen, what I've been through from this last lifetime. But I kind of feel like there's a few lifetimes uh, and it's a little mixed bag here of, of hidden mysteries. And I, I just want to kind of rest in it because I'm tired. I'm being of service. Uh, and maybe that's how you feel in this li lifetime. Like maybe it's just a little exhausting because this could actually be like a rest lifetime to regain your strength. And I'm brought back to like the kicking and the punching oh. and, and the weightlifting Asia. and all of this uh, working out stuff. Stop it. I feel like this could be like a little bit of a rest reincarnation for you to regather yes. your strength for what whatever it is you and your partner decide for the next round <laughs> i don't know the next round the next roll of the dice because but i'm if i'm being very honest chris i am seeing uh, maybe what has happened in and in, in these paralleling past lives and it's like You've been through some stuff. You've been through some stuff, but you came, came out with your head Show above yourself. water Vengeful. and your like your bust is very, very light. Like you, you have your wits about you, but there's just some stuff, right? Because you've been through so many mazes and Blame. games of life. And now I'm being, I see it as a gremlin from the movie, the gremlins, and maybe you can sense that in your walking and talking and being about in this restful reincarnation. But it's interesting. As I say restful, I actually see you working to gain strength. So it's not a relaxy taxi reincarnation. It's I'm going to relax from my typical Guild. missions, my typical gameplay, whatever that may mean. And I'm going to regain some strength here. It's something about like the gremlin energy is to also while you're gaining that strength, it's it's almost like saying to remove any of the oppressive five of swords depressive. Because I'm not sure that it's all yours. I am in pain. Yeah, I'm not sure that it's all yours. But you've been through Listen. so many lifetimes. Did. Gotta clear it out. This is the rest. This is the rejuvenation reincarnation cycle to regain your strength and work through what was hidden just because it was in past lives. Shed the smoke, shed the smoke. Companion, what brought you here? Okay. I hope that all made sense in that uh, feeling radio we're here for Chris six of pentacles okay see if the camera lighting will see how this this is what it makes me feel like is that um, gremlin energy here right in there and this is what's happening this round, this spiritual rejuvenation, reincarnation, you and your partner, or aspects of oneself. And you know, it's funny, I kind of like see shaking, shaking out this, this smoke, this uh, dust and debris as you're, you know, whittling away. What's not yours? What's from Rebecca. lessons? Rebecca might come through or might mean something to you as well. Something along that lines. And as you're whittling away, it's like shaking out this hangman and just like change if anything was stolen from you or if anything was, you know, taken or et cetera, et cetera. I feel like you can understand and you can like see stuff drop out of them and I just say I'm in general but and you're like 
you know, those were mine. There's an instinct for revenge and, and vengeance, but then you're like, I'm not here for that cycle this round. I'm not here for this. I just needed these pieces. I need these pieces back. Emperor came through. You are protected as you're going through this. There's lots of spirit meeting you in different spaces as you're as you're whittling and working away, even though it's a it's a more rejuvenation. Okay, we're getting ready to close out here for Chris. If there's any closing out messages. Take one last boo down here at the ink blot. I'm seeing a soap stone carving of two people, two of Levithians. And I'll show it to you in a moment. Co Cosmic blueprint. Higher. Thank you. I'm going to take those ones. Okay. So I'm down here in what I'm seeing is like soapstone. And the two of Levithians and the blueprint. So this is just reaffirming to me anyway that there is a connection that that is working. And while you're here doing your thing, you will be looking to step off that platform again and roll the night dice next round to see almost like your time travelers which is interesting time travelers through through lifetimes and when i say paralleling past lives you you, you know linearly yep there's a past and there's a future but uh, there's many Angela. lines to that so it's like you can you go through Brother. in that mission that i was talking about before um something along that lines like you can pick different timelines to go to and and be of service I don't know. I'm so grateful for the space to share the story. Okay, we're closing out here for Chris. Queen of the Thrones of Waters, Queen of Cups, Nine of Wands. We've got uh, Queening Up. Clown. To your great strength. Love. And I'm still in that uh, soapstone. What do we have here? Temperance and the Eight of Cups. I will share these. So you can take a boo. Yeah, working working through your gifts uh, that you've collected over over the years. Cousin, pleasure. You have a lot of great strength. Both of you have. I feel like I'm I'm doing an ink blot for Chris, but I cannot deny that there's uh, a partner a soul Look. maybe maybe they're in spirit i'm i'm not sure but there is definitely a partnership a pairing twin soul kind of feel whether that's within myself or this person has already passed and they're on the other side waiting until i've rejuvenated to meet me and we're going to roll the dice and reincarnate again or we're together in the here and now sorry chris it's not clear but it's very strong that i can't deny deny getting away away from it but i say there's a, a chance coming through is that the daughter of the reconciles is that through temperance you guys are both going about things like seeing lightning like is that is that Th it's not thor no maybe it is thor i don't know and um not poseidon you know what i mean there's these two different powers this male and female aspect and any differences of way things you go about things is a blessing and it's beautiful and it's complimentary. It's not meant to be competitive. This is like almost how you cover more ground. But here and now, anything that you feel like you've abandoned, Hurry. been abandoned, if this person is in spirit and you Jen. or they've passed, Nobody has abandoned each other. It's again working in that lightning and water. Here. You're still doing work just from two different perspectives because there's great strength here and now that's being rebuilt for you that you're doing, you're training to do. 
Like you're just on a vacation. I feel like this is a, a lifetime of a vacation. And it's the same with relaxing. It's not about it being laxy daisy and lazy daisy. You're whittling, you're working, you're doing things, you're lifting weights. You're. It's like you're in a training camp to regain particular strengths from something that you've been through this lifetime into many uh, that you've kind of gathered and collected and working through your shadow shit. I don't know what it sure. is. But it's not all mine to see. It's, it's hidden and respectfully I'm going to respect that. But I feel like you know what you're doing. Even though you may not know, you know what you're doing. Chris, thank you so much for being my muse. You're definitely following a blueprint. You are working with a partner, a soulmate of such. What again? Like I said, whether it's of yourself, but I do feel like it's uh, another, another energy entity. Infant. And you are just like busy relaxing, working, relaxing, uh, doing what you need to do for the for the next adventure for the next adventure and I don't know if you live somewhere that's like a, a cityscape and you wander out to nature a whole lot uh, and maybe if you do live in a cityscape you might, might want to consider like training out in nature or something like that just to, to add a different uh, vibe or maybe you do you live in the woods you live in a rural area and when you visit the city you Necklace. you're very the way you navigate and hold yourself uh, is very protective over your dominion. I don't know how to express how I'm seeing you or your energy walk around. It's Where? not so much defensiveness in Portal. the traditional brute way, if I may. And that, I don't mean that insulting. It's just, you know, stereotypical. But... Um, like as if I was to see a typical weightlifter, you know what I mean, in a gym or something and be like, again, I don't know, I'm not trying to be rude, but you know, like whatever, the gym is that way. <laughs> but I don't know, it's almost like somehow your presence is very large, your spiritual strength is very large, even even if it's not uh, expressed physically, because your work's being Jerry. done in another realm. Somehow you can almost be invisible. Or you want to be invisible because you just want to move through and do what you do. And there's like a really a kindness about you, a kindness. Like people might think you're this um, Agree. brute, but you're like, uh, what's that? I just saw it pop into my head. Ho, 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 green giant. And there's so much green here, Me. Chris. And I feel like your presence spiritually and or physically is big. You're going through deep stuff, deep healing deep rejuvenation and maybe that's a good title the green giant thank you for being my muse until next time thanks bye